Dieting's dirty little secret, the scientific truths behind why diets make you fat. You're fat, again. How the heck did this happen? All that weight you lost on that last diet is back on and then some. Now you just feel powerless, confused, out of control, and ashamed, I know you do. You assume it's because you weren't disciplined enough or that you didn't have enough willpower. But you still can't work out how you got back to square one so quickly. All you want to do is understand why, now that you're off the diet, but eating even less than you did before you started to diet, how you've still gained all of the weight back and more. Once you understand the science behind how diets actually make you fatter, you will have taken the first step to losing weight and keeping it off for good. A groundbreaking study. Now this study was called Long-Term Persistence of Hormonal Adaptations to Weight Loss. It's a mouthful, but it's worth remembering. It was conducted at the University of Melbourne and they reported that when people diet, the body's hormonal balance changes and it goes into serious weight gain mode. According to researchers, calorie restriction, and by that I mean significantly cutting your calories, Calorie restriction results in a rapid, significant reduction in levels of leptin. What is leptin, you ask? Leptin is a hormone that speeds up your metabolic rate and it curtails your appetite, so you don't feel quite as ragingly hungry. Leptin also causes a reduction in the levels of the appetite-suppressing hormone, peptide YY. I know these all sound scientific and wordy, but it's worth getting this science in your head. When you diet, your metabolism slows down and all the regular hormones that keep your appetite in check just aren't around to protect you. As if that wasn't enough, there is a huge increase in levels of ghrelin, a hormone which not only makes you hungry as a horse, but also stimulates the release of a polypeptide that makes your body store even more fat, especially in the abdominal region. <clears throat> the lead researcher, Joseph Proietto, said, and I quote, our study has provided clues as to why obese people who have lost weight often relapse. The relapse has a strong physiological basis and is not simply the result of voluntary resumption of old habits. What the man is saying is it's not just, ooh, the, man, the person had no discipline or willpower. There's a, there are actually changes in the body that cause this. Dr. Rudolf Leibel of Columbia University agrees. He believes that obesity is a biological, not a psychological illness. According to Dr. Leibel's research, a body that has dieted behaves very differently to a body of the same size that had never dieted. When we lose weight, the body fights fat loss by making our muscle fibers more energy efficient. So they burn up up to a quarter less calories than the muscles of someone who's the same weight who had never ever dieted. What I'm trying to say is, if you lose 10% of your body fat, you'll need to eat 20 to 25 fewer calories to maintain your new weight. So if you were eating 2000 calories a day before your diet, now to maintain your new weight, you're gonna need to eat 400 to 500 calories less just to keep that weight stable. This dieting effect, needing to eat fewer calories, can last for years. No wonder we weigh gain. I'm stuttering because I'm like, Ugh. no wonder we gain the weight back. But we don't have to. Dr. Rosenbaum, a researcher at Columbia University, scanned the brains of dieters versus non-dieters. And he found that the body tries to return to the old weight by giving the dieter a much greater emotional response to food, combined with real cravings that make the person much more excited about food and less able to resist it. You know that feeling, girl, you know it. Dr. Rosenbaum said that this, when combined with the fact that the post-diet body, the after-diet body, needs significantly fewer calories, creates the ideal situation for weight regain. Arrgh! UCLA researchers analyzed 31 long-term diet studies and found that the biggest predictor of long-term weight gain, so the biggest way to tell if the person was gonna gain weight long-term, was if the person had been on a diet at some point in the past. So basically, if you've ever dieted, you are the one they expect to gain weight long-term. One study they analyzed where dieters were followed for two years 
showed that 83% of dieters ended up heavier than when they started their diet. Diets really don't work. They actually make the problem worse, much, much worse. Now you understand the science behind why diets don't work, can you forgive yourself for all the failures of the past? You've been blaming yourself for years and now you need to cut yourself some slack. You need to recognize the huge opponent you've been dealing with and work out a strategy. I lost 70 pounds and I kept it off. Knowledge is power. And always remember you're not losing weight to get fabulous. You're fabulous right now. Love the Lifestyleista.